What's up, YouTube? It's your man, King Dev, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're jumping into episode 19 of Cork on the Basket, season 3. Um, last episode, we learned out about Mayu's secret ability. He's actually Corko 2.0. He is also the Phantom Six Man for Rakuzan, except he kind of has better overall fundamentals when compared to Corko. And Corko's also in his own little situation where he has, you know, been doing too much lately, so he kind of like a standing out which is making his like his lack of presence irrelevant you know everyone sees him which makes him uh, basically a useless player at this moment but i feel like we will work out some solution and he will be beneficial to the team once more and that is the gist of the recap because i'm not going to talk any more longer because my camera usually can get two to three episodes but you know last time i died so i don't really want to talk too long in this intro so yeah because um I only got so much time to record before, you know, the battery either dies or the card is filled. We're going to stop talking and we're going to jump into this episode and see what happens. This is probably my last episode for today. I'm looking forward to it. It's been great so far. Let's jump in. I'll watch the reaction. I'll, I'll react to the, uh, I'll listen to the opening the next episode, next session with a fully charged battery. It's about a princess eating pancakes. Hell yeah, that's easy to read. Someone I know. Interesting. See, a another thing I was thinking about while I was like, you know, in between episodes, is that his eyes look dead. But I was wondering if it's because he continued to do stuff he didn't like. Like, would Coracle had look had the same look on his face as this dude does when he's playing? If he continued and didn't like the like didn't like the game, but he he just like he got dead eyes all the time. I'm just honest. Look at look at you seeing the potential in people. That was like a little recap how they met. Noticed immediately he could be greater than Coraco. Potentially, we don't know if that's fact. Look. Like, look at him, bro. He, he feels good about it. You don't look like it. He don't like he care that much. He looks like he hates this game and he don't really want to be here. Woo! Whoa, what was that? Come on. Oh, he can shoot though, remember? He can shoot though. Okay, now I'm interested. Now I wanna know. We're gonna learn from this. This is a learning this is a learning experience. He, he, they said he got a, he got better, you know, fundamentals. He got better fundamentals than what's the name, than Coraco. He he's you know what he does, bro. He observes. Hell yeah! This is a learning experience. Great job, girl. Get the pen and the pad. Let's take notes. Let's take notes. Oh my god. <laughs> Golly. I can't even get my damn thought out properly. Like, you gotta say that more confidently, bro. If he did the other things like Coracle, would he become more relevant? Like, he would shine more? But I'm like, I don't know. I, I guess it's different because he already has some skill to some degree. Oh, was it bait? It was bait. Interesting. Okay. Look, look at that thinking a couple steps ahead. Just stay a couple steps. Okay. They overwhelming him. In a place he can't cross over. Okay. Let's see if it works. It probably ain't gonna work out that 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 way. Woo! He still went through. He touched that. Great job, Kagami. Come on, Tepe. Oh, it's in. It's in. He helps you make him score that bucket for him, bruh. Or it was accident. Come on. Come on, 40. Come on, 40. 
Look, they weren't expecting that. Now he wide open, dropping daggers, baby. He can shoot. Good job, good job. Good job. Good job, 40. Let's go. Uh oh, he's trying to ankle break. It's expected. What's this? An A call timeout? Interesting. Yeah. They just want a more focused game. They feel like it was going back and forth too quick. He can't give out instructions properly. Damn, he really broke your ankles, bro. They giving us a lot of perspective, though. Just an average person against against Akashi, bro. You won't last. He can't even stay on his feet. Let's go. They're gonna put them all in. They gonna keep doing it. Put them all in. Let him in. Let him in. Absolutely. Come on. They want to get in the game. Let them in. It's okay. We're going to all get chopped down. It's okay. Save the trees. We like the trees. Save our lives, please. Uh oh. Ah, <laughs> my dog. Let's go. I know. You're frustrated. It's cool, though. We'll get him. We'll get him. Come on, y'all. Shooting guard showdown. I'm with it. Look at him, look at that look in his eyes. Hugo, he with it. He went to smoke. He went to smoke. Let's do it. He went all the smoke. Show me something then, bro. Come on. Do it. <laughs> uh oh, you shouldn't do that. Why? Uh -huh. You ain't getting that. You can't touch that. He 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 ain't expected, that's why. Yeah, that seems like Oh my god. Look, now you in love with him. He made you fall in love with him, bro. Hugo, what about Riku? <laughs> he excited, though. It's all fun. Drop him. Barrier. You knew that was coming. Right back. It's a shootout, baby. It's a shootout. Hustle back. Hustle back. Back on defense. But they just look similar. They're different. Oh, he made it his own. Okay. I didn't even realize. Oh, okay. Okay, let's shoot out then. Oh, he blocked it. Okay. Up oh, and then he opened. They can pull away. Uh, you're a good shooter. It's good to know that. You know what? That was beautiful just now. Y'all probably didn't even notice that, but. Two common shots, okay. Okay. Oh, it's another one. An additional shot. Whoa. Void. He sent he sent the shot through the void. Why couldn't he move? The demon? They need the, they need the threes though, because he's gonna pull away if he keep raining. But yeah, I'm glad y'all didn't notice it. It was something very small. But the clock was actually ticking during those scenes where they talking like this. The clock was still ticking down. Like I always thought, like when things like this, they just randomly selecting time to make it, you know, make it work for the show. But like I saw the clock ticking as they were speaking right there, and that's a pump, bro. He broke your ankles. And what? He drew the foul. Yep. He drew the foul. <sighs> well, we got room for growth. Come on, that's what the game for is learning experience, y'all. Come on. Don't mind. Come on. There we go. Let, let Tepe give it to him. Come on, Tepe. Let's go! Beast mode. Let him point guard it. Hell yeah, because y'all messing with my dog. You messing with my dog. Let's go. My man just put that gravity on you? All that rice he be eating. You know he got protein. 
Come on, Tepe. He's nothing. Pass. Woo! Rejected. Come on, Tepe. Arbato. He hit it out. Uh oh, flashback. I like this like history that's going on with everybody. I like he had blondish hair. That's interesting. Now he got this black hair. That's cleaner though this way, but Okay. Yeah, all these names, all these characters. Oh my god, bro. Muscle screen now. He's just gonna use pure strength, pure and utter strength to box you out. The louder you are, the stronger you are. Everybody knows that. Have you ever seen Dragon Ball Z? <laughs> Don't y'all know if you scream loudly, you're stronger? Everyone knows that. <laughs> <laughs> Muscle head, that's what you is. <laughs> oh man, look at you. Good spin. Still gotta get. Ooh, great pass. Great pass. It was a great move. Come on. There we go. We need these buckets. Great job. Okay, so he, did, he, he couldn't beat him, so he had to pass. It's different. There go that lightning pass again. Yeah. Fast as lightning, boy. Mmm. Jesus. <sighs> Roaring drive. They all beasts, though. I feel like some rare beast has been spotted. Don't forget I exist. Interesting. Wow. We overwhelmed right now, I'll be honest. First we probably lose the first half. Izuki can't get by. They damn they locking the whole court down. Come on, hands up, hands up! No. They can't They can't move. They they broke down the whole court. Yeah. It's not like they're doing it because they, they don't have nothing right now. They got to figure it out. We got to figure it out. Yeah, it's nothing we can do. We literally have to figure it out. Damn, coach. Come on. Oh, my God. What is happening here? Great. It's not enough, though. I'm be honest. I'm glad we still scoring, but it's not enough, though. Man, if you don't stop talking, stop talking, dude. It's the first half, it ain't over yet. No way he's dunking. No way he's dunking. No way. No way. Red light for Akashi. No way he got hops! Look how small he is! And he banging? Man! Akashi disrespectful, bro. We crippled. Miracles don't happen. They can't even... They can't. Wow! Wow! Miracles don't happen. They can't even win with one. Even if they got a miracle, they can't win, bro. Oh, Lord, 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 Lord. Akashi is OP. But it's still the first half, y'all. I haven't given up. I know it looks like we're in a tough spot, right? We're struggling. I agree. It doesn't look good. But Coraco, he gonna figure it out. Coach, she looking like she can't come to she can't figure anything out yet, but something. We gotta find something's gonna happen. There's no way we're just gonna get washed like this. There's no way. I don't believe it. I don't. I don't believe the the creator wrote this story that way. There's no way. So I'm gonna say we're gonna we're gonna have to like I don't know. We gotta regain control of 
the match within the second half. The first half, I feel like we're done, bro. Despite us scoring buckets periodically, it's not enough when they're consistently scoring buckets and they're outperforming us. They're making threes and four-point plays, and we're just constantly hitting twos. Despite us going back-to-back, if they're scoring more for each bucket, they're going to gradually, slowly pull away with the lead that we can't catch up with. Who who knew Akashi could dunk, though? Y'all knew. Come on, bro. That's wild. He made, like I said, Akashi made me think I could do anything, bro. I could do anything, bro. I'm just saying, I ain't the tallest individual in the world. I ain't short, but I ain't tall. It's like, if Akashi can do what I can do. <laughs> bro, Akashi just keep amazing me, bro. I was confident in the first quarter. This quarter, not so much. This is the second quarter, correct? I'm not too, I'm not too confident in this, this, you know, I, I don't know. It could go either way still. But I am confident that we ain't, we ain't finna lose just like that. The games ain't over. It's still plenty of game to play. A lot of time left on the clock. We still got a second half to go through. We just got to find the solution. Put our heads together as a team and figure it out. And and one thing I was I was speaking on that, that, that um, I'm really interested to see how it works. It's the fact that Mayu... So I was under the impression that because he's similar to Korko... If he did anything other than pass, he would also end up shining a little bit and become less. His presence would be revealed, just like how Korko was, right? But he's shooting. So I wonder if that doesn't apply to him because he's also already a decent player. Like they said, he's well-rounded. When when um, Momo was looking at the chart, they said he's like a he's like a well-rounded dude. He got like average. He's, he's, he's better than Korko, but he's like a he's a decent player for someone that's like... Not, he's not the greatest. That's what I'm saying. He's not the greatest. He's okay, though. It's not like he's a horrible dude. So I wonder if that doesn't apply to Coraco because he was already a decent player and he was able to still have a lack of presence, if that makes sense. That's why he's better than Coraco to some degree. I don't know. It's, it's interesting, though. And I want to know. Now, I'm also interested because we know Coraco studied misdirection. I wonder if this dude went through the same, like, took the same steps that Coraco did in order to gain this misdirection thing. It's a lot going on. I'm glad I'm ending here today. This is a perfect spot because I, the, the next session I'm going to record three more, which, you know, hopefully that ends on a good one. I feel like this is a solid place to end for for this recording session. It's dope. But, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm interested to see how Mayu is going to – I just want to see how it continues. Another thing I'm interested in is Akashi said that Koroko can't recover from his, his you know, people being aware of him. He, he his, He's shining too much. He can't recover from that. So, I'm telling y'all, it's the only thing I could think of, and I could be completely wrong. But my idea is that we use this now always, you know, present Coraco and somehow make it so that everyone else disappears like that. Like how they did in the previous games. That's the only thing I could think of. That, who knows? Coraco always, always sends me somewhere I didn't expect. I didn't expect it. It always does things that I didn't expect and, you know. I'm usually okay with it. As long as they explain it, it always makes sense. They always give me the science behind it. They're not just ass pulling like, oh, Coracle, now he's, now he's, now he can ankle break too. They don't do stuff like that. Whenever they, they, they introduce a new thing of Coracle or anybody, I appreciate that they explain it. They make it make sense. All right. They don't just say, oh, yeah, he can do it now. No reason, no explanation why. But he t- now he can because his team was getting so beat that he just, Developed it. That that that's nonsense. I would I would hate that. No, they are gonna give me the science why it's possible, and I love that about this show. This is a great great episode. We it, we ain't doing too well, but you know, entertaining nonetheless. Very interesting. Got to see how Akashi ran into Mayu, and uh, we 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 down. I don't know. I don't know what. I don't. I don't have the answers. I don't have the answers, man. Rico don't got answers, so you know I ain't got the answers, bro. She's smarter than me. <laughs> I just, I just, we just gotta sit back, wait, and and see what happens. We gotta see how it plays out. But I, I really, I really appreciated Coraco as well. Instantly realizing that this dude is better than him, probably at what he does, right? And instantly observing, instantly taking notes. You know, I'm, I'm a watch you, bro. I'm gonna pick up everything you got to offer, bro, and I'm gonna utilize it. I, I, I that is beautiful, beautiful. The bitch stepping in. Listen, remember sis came. She said, listen, I'm going to call the whole family. Well, you get to get in. I know it ain't your your best performance out there, 
but you in the game, bro. You in the game. You got TikTok. <laughs> Listen, I'm talking. I'm rambling, and I'm going to just wrap this episode up. It was very good. I really enjoyed it. Great session today. Great session today. Uh, <laughs> Listen, if you enjoyed this episode, drop a like. Subscribe if you're new. Hit the bell. Join the Splash Gang. I'm going to see you all in the next episode. Y'all have a great day. Peace out.